they care none to be there for them. There have been people who have so much and unremembered. And those of us who are our followers should be careful not to give in to favoritism. Are you hearing me? Ah, uh, yeah. Married people and single people are of equal value. Just as rich people and poor people are of equal value, we must not give in to favoritism. Ah, uh, ah, uh, divorcees and widows and widowers, singles, oh yeah, do not allow your identity to be defined by marital status. Allow your identity to be defined by your relationship with your creator God. Huh. Woo. Woo. It could get rough. It could get rough. Yes. But you have to understand that you are of great value like everybody else. People can be unsupportive but singles should retain your integrity, obedience, and courage to say what God wants you to say and do what God wants you to do. You are not less than anybody else in this world. You are of equal value. These burdens alone. These. What is so sad sometimes. is the stigma placed on many single people and how often singles because of that stigma uh, have had to live their lives somehow in doubt yes accused many times of trying to take away so-and-so husband and trying to take away so-and-so wife. Uh, singles have been accused. Many times the dress good and your need help. And many times, the people going it alone feel like they don't count. They don't count in the world. They don't count in the church. They feel like they don't count. And often, people would take advantage of them. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Take advantage of them. But I'm talking to you. Tonight, singles, I want you to know that you are of equal value. Yes, and you've got to retain your integrity on, because your identity yes, is not defined by your marital status. Your identity is defined by your relationship with your creator. Yes, you are image of God. Stick with me. So, God did something good when he, sets the he set the lonely family. 
Families today are dysfunctional to the point that families turn their backs on their own flesh and blood. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They'll do that. They do turn their backs on their own flesh and blood. I told you, this life is so difficult, we can't go it alone. Are you hearing me? We need help. We need support. You can't tell somebody, just go and pray. God didn't set it up that way. Even when God was first to Adam and Eve, he still established human companionship. So once we pray, we must also help. Hello? Hello? Human companionship is important. Yes, important. So, years ago, when my mother was alive, she told me a story. She told me about this pastor who would go to give Bible studies to this person. And once he was doing the Bible studies, he, he wouldn't get any response. He wouldn't get any response. He soon discovered why he wouldn't get any response. So, one day he decided he was going to get some nice food, cook it, have it, take it to the person. He gave the person food. The person had food to eat and whatever. They did the Bible study. He said, never heard so much amen and hallelujah. But Jesus never preached alone. Everywhere Jesus showed up, uh, he had a little restaurant nearby. He never, he, because he understood. He understood human companionship. He stood it. Yes, so Jesus came to his own, and his own received him not. He came to his own, and his own received him not. Remember, I told you we're going to have a healing service. We're almost there. Watch it. He came to his own. And his own received him not. But identity was defined by others around him. But his relationship with his father. John 5, 36. Let me tell you why that is important. I'm going to tell you why that's important. John 5, 36. John 5, 36. Because human beings can be ungrateful. John 5, 36. What does the Bible say? But I, but have, I have greater witness than that of John for the works which the Father hath given me to finish. Uh -huh. The same works that, that I, I do bear, bear witness, witness of me that the Father hath sent me. So that's all he was concerned about. He was concerned about pleasing his father. And I'm saying this to you. Be concerned about pleasing God. Be concerned about pleasing God. So look at this. At his baptism, the father said, I am well pleased. Oh yes, I am well pleased. Yes, M Matthew 3, 17. I don't know if you have that, but if you have it, you could uh, kind of uh, put it on the screen. Matthew chapter 3, verse 17. I'm not sure if you have it. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, let's go. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. He said, I'm pleased. Jesus said that, I mean, God said that. God the Father said that at his baptism. I'm well pleased. Hey. Multitudes followed Jesus and they followed him for the loaves and the fish. But the closer he got to the cross, the less the number became. 
Hmm, watch this. Watch this. You will know who people are when you are in trouble. It was at the time he was in greatest danger that Jesus stopped to his father. John 16, 32 and 33. John 16, 32 and 33. John 16, 32 and 33. We have that on the screen. Yes, go ahead. Behold, Behold. the hour cometh. Yea, is now come that he shall be scattered every man to his own. And shall and leave me alone. Huh. And yet I am not alone Woo. because the Father is with Woo. me. Woo. Mm. So hold on. Hold on. That actually happened. He was left alone. I mean, even the people closest to him pulled away from him. Uh, but he said, I'm not alone because the Father is with me. Yes, sir. So at the Garden of Gethsemane, he sought human companionship but human beings failed and then God sent an angel to help him he trod according to Isaiah 63 and verse 3 he, he trod the wine press alone Jesus is the only one in this life in life and death who never sinned. He never sinned. With all what he went through. He stuck close. To his father. You see. The heavenly purity. Was annoying to Satan. And so. Satan's intention. Was to wreak violence. Upon him. Ah, uh, Because the heavenly purity. Purity annoyed the apostate in this corrupt world. He claimed as his. Uh, he claimed this world as his. But Jesus stepped into it. Hallelujah. And lived a pure life. Sinless. Never gave in to his temptation. And because Jesus didn't do it. He was bent on putting on Jesus the severest of trouble and temptation and suffering. Oh yes, the disciples fled that night at Gethsemane and to Isaiah. Jesus was numbered with the transgressors uh, because he took your sin and my sin and your guilt and my guilt. He was going it alone. The burdens were too heavy for him. Too heavy until he fell down with drops of sweat like blood pouring down his face. He was doing it for you and for me. The blood vessels burst as the burden of sin of the world rested upon him. The sins of all of us, the sins of the community over there that now has curfew, the sins of all across the world rested on him. Jesus loves everybody. You don't get it? You don't get it? And even those who are wreaking havoc and violence, Jesus wants them to be saved. And he trod the wine press alone. It wasn't easy. The Bible says when he came to Golgotha, they put him on the cross. To Calvary. Luke 23 and verse 33. 
Luke 23 and verse 33. Yes. What does the Bible say? And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one, of the right, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Woo! So that's how he ended up. He got to Calvary. They put him on that old rugged cross. And they nailed his hands and feet. Lifted up the cross and dropped it in the hole. And his body jogging against those rusty nails. Yes! And while he was there, uh, a spear was put through his side. Blood and water came out. We broke his heart. Uh, we broke his heart. And they took him down from the cross. And they put him in the ground. Look at Matthew chapter 12 and verse 29. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 29. I'm going to show you after this text what happened to some of these folk who put him on the cross. Look at this. Matthew chapter 12 verse 29. What does the Bible say? Or else. How can one, How can enter, one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods? Uh -huh. Except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Ooh, stop here. Stop here. You got to understand this text. How can one enter into a strong man's house? Hold on. Death, a strong man's house. Who is that strong man? Satan. Are you hearing me? Satan is strong. Satan is strong. But I want you to know, Jesus is stronger. So, that Friday, Jesus went into the strong man's house. <laughs> he went into the strong man's house. Yes, people. Who have died for centuries, for millennia, can't get up because they went there with chains. The chain of sin, the chain of sin and impurity. But when Jesus walked into the strong man's house, the Bible said, He, look at the word here. He bind the strong man. Are you hearing me? He, he tied him up. Just as he would do at the end of the age for 1,000 years. He tied him up. And he spoiled his house. Early the Sunday morning, he got up from the ground. And when he got up from the ground, he looked at the one that he tied up. Look at the demonic forces and said, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I'm alive forevermore and have the keys. Of hell and the grave. Hallelujah. So I was telling you earlier where I want to stop. I want to like close the message. I told you that I was going to show you what happened to some of the people who put him on a cross. That's why. You can't give up on people. And I'm going to show you this. You can't give up on people. Watch this. Watch. So go to Acts chapter 2. Yes, Woo, this is our last text for the night. Yes, yes, 
Acts chapter 2. We're going to read 1 to 4 and then go to 22. You know what? Just go to 20 to 24. Read. Oh, it's on the screen. Let's do it. It's on the screen. Let's go. And when? And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, was fully come. They were all one accord in one place. In one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it, and it filled. filled all the house where they were sitting. And there, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it, and it sat, sat upon, upon each, each of, of them. them. Keep on reading. And they were all filled with filled the Holy Ghost. with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. And the, as spirit, the spirit gave them utterance. Three. Go ahead. Are we 24, 22? Oh, that's four. Stop. Are you at four yet? That's as four. Okay, that's four. Watch 22. This. Go to 22 now. Go to 22. Ye men of Israel. I'm going to show you this. Watch this. Watch this. Hear these hold words. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. This preacher who is going to speak now could not be found when Jesus did him that Friday. Yeah, but you can't give up on people. Are you hearing me? Yes. He could not be found. He disappeared. Yes. He denied his Lord. Yes. Huh? But something happened yes. huh? when the Spirit of God came down on them and changed them and made him courageous and made him bold. Listen to what he's saying. Ye men of Israel, uh -huh. hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by by miracles and wonders and signs, uh -huh. which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Him being delivered by the determined counsel and for knowledge of God, ye, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified, have crucified him. Slain. He was speaking to the people who crucified Jesus. Yes, yes. Keep on reading. Whom God had raised up, Ooh. having loosed the pains of death. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Because what? It was not possible that he should be holden, holden of it. It was not possible for the grave to hold him. <laughs> okay. So now, watch this. So they heard it. This is the gospel. He was preaching to them. So they heard it. Go now to verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly mm -hmm. that God had made that same Jesus, uh -huh. whom ye have crucified, whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. Keep on. No, now when they heard this, they were <laughs> pricked in their heart Woo! and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, uh -huh. men and brethren. What shall we do? What shall we do? Keep on reading. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, mm. and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Ghost. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh. For the promise is unto you and to your children, to all that are afar off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Stay, stay with that text. Stay right. Just stay right there. Stay right there. Then Peter said to them, These are the people crucified. He said to them, Repent, turn around, and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission. Of your sins, and ye shall receive. Yes, ye shall receive yes, because Peter and the disciples just received, and they saw what happened to them. They said, This is what we need to do, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And then he said, This for the promise. Mm, 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 mm is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So how did this look? 
it wasn't like preaching to all thousands of people. It, it, it wasn't this way. It's not like how it looks here. That's not how it happened. You didn't have thousands of people putting Christ on a cross. No. Those who were there who listened to that message. Huh? A couple of hundred of them were there listening to the message. And when they heard the message, move on. I'm going to show you. Move on to the next text. Move and, on to the next text. And with many other Watch words this. did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So those who gladly heard the message, the Bible said 3,000 of them were baptized. How did that happen? It didn't happen the way it happened in our world today. No, when you come to these big gatherings, see people coming up and make decisions. No, 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 no. These men people, declared the gospel. And when they realized that Jesus was the Messiah, when they realized the miracles that he did, and with all of that, they placed him on a cross. The Holy Spirit pricked their hearts. And they believed the message. And they came forward. The people put him on the cross. They came forward and they were baptized. Huh? But they heard something else. They heard that the message was not just for them. Receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost was not just for them. It was for their children. So what do you think they did? They left and they went home. These were men full of faith. They went home and they declared the gospel to their wives and their children. And their, and their children accepted the gospel. And once they accepted the gospel, the men themselves baptized their whole family yes, and when they counted at the end of the day it was 3,000 people yes, huh. so hold on this is what I want to tell you. We're going, into the, we're going into the healing service now. This is what I want to tell you. And I'm not in any hurry tonight. Because people, they, they, they were in, in no hurry. And, and you know what? They hardly have on clothes and they're not in a hurry to go home. Listen carefully to what I'm saying. Yeah. Repentance is not just for adults. Yeah. Repentance is for Forgiveness is for children. Yes, Receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost is not just for adults. It's for children. We need children in this world full of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you what. 
There's so much going after them now. Children are even being trafficked now. Take them and turn them into prostitutes. Huh? All kinds of stuff. So, we need children to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Children must experience repentance. Children must experience. Children must receive the Holy Ghost. Huh? They can't carry singles can't carry the burdens alone. The sick can't carry the burdens alone. Ah, uh, we can't carry these burdens alone. They will crush us. Avas. Avas. Pastor. We're going to Psalm 51. And I'm going to ask you to stand for the confession. All have sinned come short of the glory of All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So, are you ready? Are you ready for the confession? Let's go. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Is mercy. that on the screen? They need to move, this, yeah, move, the, move it along with you. Right. Let's start over. Have mercy upon me, O God, According, according to thy loving kindness. According, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Do what? Blot out my transgressions. My transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. And, and cleanse, cleanse me from my, from sin. my sin. For I acknowledged my transgressions and my sin before, before me. Against thee only and, and done, done this, this evil in, in thy, thy sight. sight. That, that thou, thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou ju judgest. Iniquity mm. and in sin, and in sin, behold, thou desirest truth in the inward, in the, in the hidden, hidden part. part. Need to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and, and I, I shall, shall be, be clean. clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Mm. Make me to hear joy, joy. and gladness, that, that the, bone the bones which thou hast broken may, may rejoice. rejoice. Hide. Hide thy face from my sins, mm. and, and blot out, out all my iniquities. Woo. Create in me a clean heart, O, o God, God, and, and renew, renew a right spirit within me. Mm. Cast me not away from thy presence, and, do and what? take not thy Holy Spirit, thy from, Holy me. Spirit from me. Restore, Restore unto, unto me, me the, the joy, joy of, of thy of salvation, mm. and, and what? uphold me with thy free spirit. With thy free spirit. Then, then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and, and sinners shall be converted Stop unto thee. Stop here. Do you believe tonight that God accepted our confession. Because he confess he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from what? From all unrighteousness. So, before we go, 
into this healing service. I want to say a few things to you. The intention of Satan is one, to mess up your mind. He doesn't matter how, he doesn't matter how he gets it done. That's the first thing you want to do. Mess up your mind. Two. Get your body sick. Yeah. And three. Bankrupt your soul. Meaning bankrupt your spiritual life. Yes, yes. So. How, how does he work on your mind? One. Guilt. God has forgiven you years ago, but you can't seem to get over it because Satan continues to bring it back to you. The sin is before you. Shame. Uh-huh. Shame. He uses that to make you feel like you are nobody. Uh -huh. And then fear, 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 because he knows that once you are afraid, he has taken your power from you. Fear, fear. He takes the power that you have from you once you're afraid. That's how he does with your mind. Your body, he knows. If your, if your mind is messed up, it's going to affect your body. Your body's going to compromise. Huh? And so you start to get cancer. And all the diseases. And then he bankrupt your spiritual life. Yeah. How does he do it? Instead of loving God, he gets you to love the world. To love the world. Meaning, only pay attention to yourself and what gratifies you. So people will murder for their own gain. Huh? You have greed and you have witchcraft and for all for their own gain. It's called the lust of the flesh. Amen. And then the lust of the eyes. You can't be satisfied. See, you want. You are married, but you still have two, three other women somewhere. And you know. Your sin finds you out, you know, because some, some people who operate that way, it's only when they're dead, a lot of people, a lot of other children show up, look like them. And then the pride of life. Our pride. He wants our pride to be in what? In, our, in the material things of the world and what we achieve and we forget. That this world is coming to an end. And so, in here tonight, people are not just mentally sick and bodily sick, but spiritually sick. So we are praying tonight. Hmm? You notice I'm here first, right? Because I'm a part. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have been if affected by what Satan is doing. But tonight, we are coming in the name of Jesus. And we are asking God, we are asking God to heal us. Heal us in our bodies. Heal us in our spiritual lives. Take away fear. Take away shame. Take away guilt. 
because Jesus took them upon himself on the cross and he conquered and we must believe it we must believe it so as the praise team sings come just as you are if you want healing tonight and you really believe you really believe because it's only going to happen if you have faith if you want healing tonight I'm asking you to come You really have to have faith to believe if you want healing tonight. Physically, healing, spiritually, healing, mentally, healing, healing. Healing, healing, Come healing. Just as you are. Come and see. It's healing tonight. That's all I'm concerned about. Healing in your body, in your mind, in your soul. Healing. Healing. The spirit's call. The spirit's call. The spirit's call. The spirit's call. Come. Just as you are. Just as you are. Uh huh. Uh huh. Healing. Healing. If given your card, I've given them permission. The card is to take to the prayer tent. So once we are done, I'm going to take you to the prayer tent. Strength. 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 For today. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Anybody else who want to come. It's healing tonight. It's healing tonight. And never, never thirst again. Never thirst again. Again. Everlasting. Everlasting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Strength, Strength for, today. for today. Anybody else who want to come? Anybody else hearing my voice? Way of strength. And you want to come out of your house? Come on in. Come on in. It's healing night. It's healing night. It's healing night. It's healing night. For those of you who are online, I hope you're getting some attention online. Wherever you are, it's healing. Somebody's coming. I just want to wait. Keep on. I have passed the ball getting ready. It's healing night. Somebody will face a divine encounter tonight. It's healing. It's healing night. It's healing night. Uh huh. Uh huh. Strength for today. Again, and never first again. again. Everlasting. Everlasting. Yeah, yeah. Strength, Strength. for today. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Taste, Taste the living water. I never first again. God bless you. My brother, God bless you. God bless you. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Yes, yes, come just as you are. 
just as you are. We're about to close. We're about to close. I see somebody just Keep stepping up. The, the Spirit's gone. I see somebody coming from this side. It's healing night. It's healing night. It's healing night. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's just as you are. Come you don't need me. to change anything. Come just come me. just as you are. And Jesus come will handle your situation. You just come just as you are. And once you're done, if, you, if you've signed any cards, we're going to take them to the prayer tent. That's why we give you the cards. We're going to take them to the prayer tent. The Spirit's gone. Just, just as you are. As you just as you are. So. Come and see. Come and see. Come receive. Come receive. Come and live. Come and live. Listen to me carefully because the prayer is going to be made now. Something is going to happen. The prayer is going to be done now. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that Jesus can heal you in your mind, in your body, and in your soul? You have to believe. If you believe, all things are possible. Because when it's all said and done, you must have a testimony that God healed you. And it will be for the glory of the name of Jesus Christ. So your heads are bowed. You have confessed. I have confessed. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So yes, we've been forgiven. Now, we're going to pray. Let me test this preacher. Let me test it. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. In the name of Jesus, one, two. Your heads are bowed. Amen. Your eyes are closed. Amen. Come just as you are. You have come. And so now together, we approach the throne of grace mm. and mercy. Jesus. Together tonight, we reach out our hands and touch the hem of his garment. Together tonight, we ex exercise our faith. Yes. And we reach into the throne room of God. Mm. Believing that all mm. things are possible. Yes. Father, your people are standing in your presence tonight. Father, we come as we Sick and mm. because spoilt us, yes. sin has marred us, sin has messed us up in our Jesus. minds, Jesus. our bodies, and our spirit. Jesus. And the enemy has been able to convince us that we are defeated. Mm. But tonight, Father, we have heard your word. And we believe, Jesus. we believe, Father, that you can do for us far more than we can ask or imagine. Mm. We believe, Father, that when we come in the name of Jesus, yes. mountains can be removed mm -hmm. on our behalf. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, Father, we come, we come, we come in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. 
That name that is above all oh. other name. That name, Father, that caused demons to tremble. That name, Father, that name of authority and power. Mm -hmm. We come tonight, mm -hmm. Father. Mm -hmm. We pray tonight that you may move through this crowd. Mm -hmm. You may move through this crowd. Mm -hmm. Father, there are individuals here with sickness in the body. Yes. Father, there are individuals here with cancer cells yes. in the body. Father, there are individuals here who have gone to the doctor over and over again mm. and cannot be healed. But tonight, yes. we come to Dr. Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, we come to you, great physician. Tonight, we pray that you may reach out your healing hands mm. and touch your children, oh mm. God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the crown of their heads, oh Lord, I pray, touch that man, touch that man, touch that man right now who is standing here with doubt. I pray, God, that you may touch that man in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Touch him. Jesus. Touch him, Jesus. oh Father. Jesus. Father, Jesus. Father, Father, Jesus. I pray for those whose minds are addicted to substance. Jesus. Addicted to pornography, addicted to drugs, Jesus. addicted, addicted, addicted to social media. Oh, Father, there are many who are addicted tonight who can't hear your voice because of addiction. In the name Jesus. of Jesus, Rest. I pray that you may break every chain Rest. and set your captive Rest. free. Oh, Father, Rest. break the chain, break the chain, Rest. break the chain. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Deliver. Jesus. Deliver. Deliver, Jesus. Father. Deliver, Father. Deliver. Mm. Deliver. Mm. Deliver. Mm. Mm. Oh, Father, mm. there is somebody here. Mm. Somebody here. Demon has been following yes. that individual. In the name of Demon Jesus. Demon has been following that In person. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Demons. Mm. Demons. Mm. You are Please. rebuked. In the Please. name of Jesus. Get tense. In the name of Jesus. Mm. You are defeated because Jesus has defeated you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Jesus. Mm. 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 Dr. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Not only us who are standing here, mm. but visit our homes. Mm. There are many mm. in mm. our homes. Mm. Husbands who stop coming to church. Oh, Children who are out there Jesus. firing the guns. Jesus. Children tonight who should be in church Jesus. or at the party. Jesus. God, there Jesus. are many situations. Jesus. Many situations. Jesus. But God, there is none. None that you can't handle. Uh -huh. and so we put them in your hands, oh God. Yes. We put physical healings in your hands. Mm. Oh, you are the great physician. Yes. Heal somebody here tonight. Yes. We put spiritual healing in your hand. Yes. There is somebody who wants to give his life to you yes. tonight. There's a lady who wants to give her life to you yes. tonight. Yes. But the devil is playing tricks mm. on their minds. Mm. I pray, Dr. Jesus, mm. yes. that he may release those mm. individuals. Mm. And mm. Father God, I know... You can also give financial healing. Yes, yes God. You yes. can provide the money for the yes. bills. You yes. can provide the money for the school fees. Yes, Lord. Lord, Lord. You can do it. Yes, there give is it to nothing them. that you can't do. Mm. You can mm. stop the guns from barking. Oh. You can fix oh. every situation. Oh. And so mm. tonight we come. Yes. We come claiming. Yes. We come claiming. Mm. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah yes. to Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah to yes. Jesus. Yes. As God's yes. people, we just lift our hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We claim the physical healing. Mm. We claim the spiritual healing. Mm. We claim the physical healing. Mm. We claim the, the deliverance. And we claim Jesus. provision yes. in the name of Jesus. God's name. Before I bless you, 30 seconds in your mind to thank God for what he has done. You see, it is this, it is this thanksgiving that will bring to you what you have requested. Just thank him for 30 seconds. And I'm going to bless you as you go home.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Peace on the road as you go home tonight. Peace in your house. Peace in your marriage. Peace in your family. Peace tomorrow when you go out on the road. Peace in your body. Peace in your mind. Peace deep down in your soul. Peace with God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and all God's healed and delivered people shout amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. See you tomorrow. Trouble sometimes are here. God bless you. God bless you. Chasing run, see the way pilgrims run, grizzled the way. Jesus is coming My soon. Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night, night or noon, and he will be there too. Trumpet will sound, all of the dead shall rise. In the sky, glowing where no one dies. Heaven or bound. Just step it up a little bit. Trouble will soon be home, happy forever. Yes. When we meet on that shore, from the one rising up in, in the sky, telling this world goodbye. Homeward we then shall fly, glory to share. Jesus. Night or night or noon, many will meet there too. One more time, let's do that chorus one. Jesus, My Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night, night or noon, many will be there to trumpet will sound. And all of the dead shall rise. Righteous be in the sky. Going where no one dies. Heaven one bow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.